let's make sure that we watch this video over and over again so that we can actually think that Jorge does something at the track other than his mouth running. Good morning, everybody. It is practice day. We got five practice sessions to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't tuned in before, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, notification button. Uh, we're here at the Rock Cup, the final round. Uh, we're going to run a 100cc on our uh, S55 chassis and uh, we're gonna make it work. Uh, should be quick, Junior here is gonna send it, full send mode. Um, we're hoping not to get run over on our way to get our tickets and stuff. So it should be a really good fun weekend. Uh, we're not morning people. That's Gabe, but since Gabe's never here, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. We love you, Gabe. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy, catch on track. Remember, today's full Sunday. So we missed first practice because we were unable to get the motor in time, uh, parts issue, but we got in for second practice and then we went to fire her up and she said no. So we got the engine builder over here. Uh, he worked his magic, changed out the stator right there. Uh, fired right up, it is a brand new motor. So, you know, electrical parts do go bad. Uh, we're gonna adjust some things on the cart. Basically, uh, we made a makeshift exhaust bracket. We're gonna take that one off and put another one on. And then uh, we are going to finish out the break-in process and um, figure out how we can add one more seat strut to the side because it was hitting the exhaust. So once we get the exhaust mounted on correctly, we will uh, get that second seat strut in. Um, Junior wasn't able to go balls to a wall yet even though he wanted to so next practice we'll have everything set right then we'll be able to push a little bit harder the cart felt fine right off the bat and uh, all we've done is added a seat strut so we'll see once we get on uh we get on it a little bit harder right i hope <laughs> but it hits our brake rotor. So I gotta trim down this bolt so I can get the other one to sit better and flush. And then that's what we're gonna work with. Uh, I'll show you the final product. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. You waited for this moment forever and a day. And now I can prove to you that Jorge is actually doing work. <laughs> it's a rare event, doesn't happen often. So please, let's make sure that we watch this video over and over again so that we can actually think that Jorge does something at the track other than his mouth running. Not often. Look at that. He's so quiet right now because he has to concentrate on not drilling a hole in the side yeah. of our motor. Yeah. This is, this is a momentous occasion. Doesn't happen. You've seen it here. I'm glad I could bring it to you. Have a nice day. See that? Due to contrary belief, I do work on the carts. That's why we don't get all the filming that we want to get. It's because all I'm doing is working nonstop. I mean, I don't turn wrenches. Huh? I said I don't turn wrenches. That's right. Junior doesn't turn wrenches. Only on the 206. He's going to be the cameraman from now on, all right? That's going to be the cameraman. On the 206, I can turn. So. I have not a clue about this. Yeah, we're learning. Uh, when we get back to the tent, we're going to go register right now. I'll show you basically how to cut a bolt off. 
um, smash the crap out of a seat strut because we want a seat strut on the other side. And then uh, we'll see how this is going to work. Uh, this is going to be a full, full, first full go session. So. Nothing's falling off the cart, which is great. So that's a plus for us. So uh, definitely this full send mode session. Realistically, we're still doing better yeah. than what we thought. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. we were going to miss more sessions with the motor, getting it back. But we only missed the first one, and we get our break in during the second one. So the third one is already more progress than what we expected. Yeah. And it turned out to be a uh, stator issue, and the motor's brand new from the box. So uh, swapped out parts, electrical stuff, you know how it works. This went out like a light bulb. So getting ready. Should be fun. So basically, grinding down this bolt, put a whole bunch of washers and stackers, seat sasters, exhaust is tight, clears the brake, and then we went under here and bent it down straight, adjust it here to here. So now we got two seat struts on the side. We got the wiring issue fi fixed. We'll fire it up. Ready to go. Finally, our first full send practice. After all the struggles in the morning session, after everything, uh, he stayed clean, thank God, because someone was spinning around. Uh, but he was, you know, we we're 206 racers, and uh, driving these cars are a little bit different. Uh, setup's going to be different. But he did pretty well for the, for the practice session that he was out there. He was able to hang uh, with some of the guys uh, that's, a little bit heavier class a little slower but you know, remember his first time out he's driven this type of engine package back in the day uh it's been a really long time he's been running 206 and he's been getting he's been running up front with 206 so we decided to move up uh I'll, throughout the weekend you'll see his line change differently um like he's closing off the uh the first turn in because we run it really tight in 206 and here you can't you have to hang it out a little bit wider uh, you also gotta get the cart rotated a little bit quicker and sooner and uh, wait on uh, entries on apexes so definitely good learning experience this weekend big learning experience this weekend for not him myself as well i have never messed with these motors i've never worked on them or tuned them and uh by the end of the weekend i had a pretty decent handle on tuning the engine and then uh i learned a lot uh, thanks to chad and everybody on the team so first practice session out of the way it was a good one not bad we're doing this to please Miguel, recording the actual work that gets put in. That's oh, it. Yeah. That's first, it. First, first uh, warm up out of the way. Ran really good. This uh, half a second off. So we did a gear change. Went up to uh, front bumper was dragging, so I'm heating it up and flattening it out. And then uh, I gave him more brake pedals, so he has more brakes. Uh, adjustment wise, other than that, nothing else. For now. Yeah, for now. We're going to keep working and see how it goes this session. He was losing the front end because the bumper was lifting up the tires. So he was just washing his front end out. bow out like this. It must have happened at the Spring Nationals. Yeah, I know this is hot, but I don't have much feelings in my hand anyway, so I can do this. If anybody else does this, use gloves. All right, guys, we'll check in after you after this next practice. All right, next practice session is practice four. Uh, we're on it again, and he was having issues on the top end. Uh, motor kept cutting out. I take full responsibility for that. That is my fault. Uh, there's these little caps and covers that came with the uh, air box. I left them on because I thought that was like helping for filter uh, filtration, but that's not the way you do it. All right, you take those caps off, you put a little bit of grease on where the intake is for the air box, and that's what catches all the dust. So, really, 
the motor was cutting out uh, due to my to my fault. Uh, we still didn't have an EGT. We didn't know what we were supposed to be running. Uh, magic numbers are 1100 and 900. But we were getting closer. We were getting down. Uh, he did really well. Final practice was like a wash. Um, it was sprinkling on track. Uh, we had gone to the complete 206 setup. So that setup can work to an extent and degree but it's not going to let you run up front okay and we're still having motor issues so we really don't know the full extent of it but uh this session at least everybody slowed down close to half a second and we only lost a tenth and it was drizzling and wet so uh definitely his line had to change a little bit but we were still working through some issues and we just decided to change the setup completely and uh basically we start coming alive the next day but for the end of the day it wasn't bad it was really good seat time we were thrashing all day yeah so <laughs> uh, apologies on the closing video you know you know how to do like a recap after every heat race but we've been thrashing all day trying to make uh the cart work so uh the set that we put in now if it comes alive we'll let you know what we did uh, in tomorrow's video so stay tuned for that uh, first practice session we went out broke in the motor second practice session oh, man. session we went out and uh, did I leave my phone on my tail? no I didn't <laughs> I'm looking for my phone <laughs> so second the uh, next practice session we went out this uh, practice four uh, he ran good lap times just half a second off the leaders and then we went backwards, on, backwards and then we went last session we picked up we went less backwards than everybody else exactly yeah so everybody else fell off the pace by half a second and we only lost a tenth but it's still not good enough right so we found out that a straight 206 setup does not work <laughs> so i lost all right farshad wins you Congratulations to Farshad. I owe him a dollar. And you have to sign that dollar. And that I got to sign the dollar. That says signature. I lost. Exactly. That's the rules. And I'm putting on video that I lost. So we abandoned that. We have that. to make another clip though. This can't be the closing clip because now Farshad has to have a winning uh, a no, winning statement. It, yeah, but he'll have one tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you know, Don't give him too much camera time, okay? He, he, yeah, he, gets, he already has one clip in this video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he has more camera time he's ever had before. So, uh... We're gonna get ready, go get some dinner. Um, we just gotta find like two washers, to make sure the wheels don't fall off. And that's about it. Junior, any, any last words? I need Jesus. <laughs> if you're listening or watching, yeah, just come. Please. All right guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you like this, uh, this video. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. And remember, when in doubt, just send it out. <laughs>